Welcome! Welcome back to the Zeppelin Cafe with me, your host, Wendell, the Red-Nosed Reindeer. How everybody doing? It's good to see you all again. I see we already got the chat already hopping with Warcry Mango, Scarlet Unicorn Meteorite, and Mochi Puddle coming in. Red-Nosed Wendell, that's right! That's right, it was requested last week that I continue my, my reindeer costume. And so there you go, Wendell. The Red-Nosed Reindeer. It's going to be taking you through the world of Minecraft today for one hour, as per usual. Niall, hey, how you doing? Good to see you. Why do I look so adorable? I don't know. It just comes naturally to me. Especially when I have my, my all my cute little Christmas gear on. I love it. I love the Christmas gear. Hey, shout out. Thank you, Mango, for the shout out to Niall in the afternoon. Because if you're not watching Niall... Oh my gosh, you are missing out. Because it is a wonderful, wonderful stream with all kinds of songs and positive messages, and it's just great. So do check out Niall in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, whenever, whenever you can. Check out Niall. I highly recommend it. Window karaoke stream. Oh, window karaoke stream. Yes, about that. That is something I was going to bring up today. So I guess, you know, now's as good as time as any. How would, uh, how would the people out there feel oh, five about... Bucks. Thanks, matey. Hey, look at that, Niall. Subscribed. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Everyone, you should know that Niall was the very first subscriber to this channel. So that is a very, very special sub that we just got there. Thank you very much, Niall. Always appreciate it. But as I was saying, uh, yeah, karaoke karaoke i i wonder if the people out there would be interested in, in a little wassailing that is to say a little christmas caroling with your buddy wendell think is that something that sounds appealing you know just let me know because you know i'm thinking i'm thinking I, i'm thinking i'm thinking in the mood for that get together sing a little songs maybe have uh, maybe have some other folks here on the cafe join in as well sounds amazing Okay, we got one vote for yes. So I'm, I, mean, I think I'm gonna do it. I think we're gonna do it as we get a little closer, as we get a little closer to the the Christmas holiday here. We're gonna have a little, we're gonna have a little evening stream, and we're gonna do a little singing. We're gonna do a little dancing. It's gonna be fun. What happens during the other times of day? Morning. <laughs> Anything could happen. But yes, that's the plan. As we get a little closer, I'm thinking towards Christmas. So maybe next week. Uh, we'll have a little evening stream, and we'll do a little we'll do a little caroling, you know, probably doing a little 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 Christmas cheer to everybody out there, and a little holiday cheer too. You know what? You know it's not just Christmas time, of course. You know we got Hanukkah, we got Kwanzaa, we got probably other stuff I'm not thinking of, but you know this is the holiday season. Everybody likes to celebrate this time of year, no matter what you like to celebrate. We're just glad you're having a good time, and we're glad you're here, hanging out with us on the cafe. So man, I got a I got a question for Mango, because I see you hanging out here in the chat so early. Are you done with work? Usually you're working during my stream. I don't plan that intentionally for that to happen, but I know it does. Done with work? Yes, the holidays are here, and that's what we like to see. We like to see people being done with work this time of year. There is plenty of time for work in January. Everyone else, start taking time off if you can. But if you gotta work, you gotta work. I understand how it is, but hopefully you can find some time for yourself because this is that time of year. It's a good time of year for that. Anyway, I've gone on and on. We've got some minecrafting to do. Let me see here. All right. So it's kind of dark. Let me wake that up. Boom. Still kind of dark. How do I see over that nose? Not well. I'll tell you that. It's uh yeah, it can be a bit of a distraction. But we're going to we're going to we're going to persevere. We're going to continue on with it until I can't take it anymore and then I might just have to, you know, knock it off of there. But anyway, last week we uh we ran randomly from monsters just off into the woods and we discovered this little town. And that's where we are right now. We're in this little village and there's people living here and they're growing food and they got animals. It was amazing. So yeah, we just, that's where we're waking up now. 
Baby sheep, that's right, we saw baby sheep. We tried to we tried to get it, but we didn't know how. And then we lost it. And I've been picking up all kinds of stuff, too. I don't know what all these things are on my inventory. Just this little notch? Oh, I know what that is. Oh, I better get rid of that. Be right back. All right, all right, got it cleaned up. We're all good now. Is that an Ender Pearl? Yes, yes. Let me get my uh, get my controller here. Ender Pearl. I don't know what it is, but I, I found it. It was back when the uh, you know they've got a big robot here in this village that is protecting everything, and it was just going around smacking things left and right. And somebody dropped an Ender Pearl. So now it's mine. You need the pearl to find the dragon. Oh my gosh, we don't want to find the dragon. I'll just get burned. That sounds terrible. Let's use this bed. No one's in the house. Crispy Wendell is right gonna be hello dragon my name is Wendell I have no idea what I'm doing here and blah, fire fire everywhere that's the only way I can see that going oh there's a creeper just wandering town coming to visit me where's that robot it's Geek Cat. Oh my god, the blur. <laughs> yes. Did I lose him? Whew. My nose! I messed up my nose. Can't lose it yet. I'm just getting started. Okay, so we got a lot of stuff. This was a very profitable journey to this town, but we need to get back to Pringles. We just have no idea where we live anymore. I think the last number was 64, so we're gonna go that way. Cause we're, we're getting, uh... ooh, there's a hole here. Some creeper wandered in. They had a big update when I started the game today. It was like, migrate your world to the new world of Minecraft. So I did. And I was worried. You know, it might, might mess things up, but it seems fine. If only we wrote it down, yeah. Scarlet Unicorn, you know... You know that's not how I play. That's not how I play this game. I just wander about, hope good things will happen, and rely on the chat for the rest. It's worked out pretty well so far. Aside from all the deaths. Coach chat, that's right! I got a lot of experts here, helping me out. You know, I'm wandering through this woods. I should get like some, some tree bark while I'm here. I don't think I have any tools. It was kind of a catastrophe getting to the village, so I've lost everything. I guess we're chopping this tree down with a mushroom. It seems to work well enough.
Because, yeah, we, before we found the town, we did have a goal. Oh, the music's starting. Why is the music starting? There's nothing too dramatic happening. For 50 cents a day, you can find out what my goal is. The goal of not dying. Yeah, the goal, as you may recall, was to get the lava. Because we found... We found the lava. And then I stepped in it. So that didn't go as well as I'd hoped. 50... Mango's bringing the bits. 50 bits. The goal is not dying. The goal is always not dying. So I think that first number is way too high. We gotta bring that number down. Hi, fish. We did find it with our face. Yeah. I did do that. Inching along, like, I'm gonna be careful. I'm not gonna fall in here. I'm gonna be super careful. Blech. And then that was it. Into the lava. This is a nice place. You know, until night falls. Looks all nice. Oh, it's so pleasant. Peace of the holiday season. They really did kick the music in. Uh oh. I'm just in the water now. Let's find some land. I can't jump that high. Just sinking. All right, well, we're swimming. Wasn't expecting the rocky shoreline. Rudolph the swimming reindeer. I wish this reindeer could fly. in this lake. This lake that has turned into a swamp. Jingle bells, the music swells. Hope that we don't die. Thank you, Scarlet Unicorn. That was good. Really got stopped by a lily pad. Now it's raining. It's okay. Wish we could find snow. You know, it's that time of year. Oh, hey, you. Do you know Pringles? You're not Pringles. I know Pringles. And that's no Pringles. Let it snow so we can build a snowman. Da 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 da. Maybe that needs to be our goal. Maybe forget the lava. We gotta find snow. Oh, I think we're getting close. There's the desert. Do 
You can build a snowman in this game. <gasps> I want to do that. Hey! It's the house! We're home! We're home, Pringles! Where's Pringles? Right where we left him! Just staring out that door! But not going through it! some of our spoils away. Hey there, P-Ninja! Dropping off a gift sub? Oh, you don't need to do that. Just appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so much. Whoa, five bucks. Oh, and there it is! Mochi Puddle just got the sub from P-Ninja. Thank you so much. Sorry to hear you're tied up. We're just having, uh, we just got back home. Back home to see Pringles. Made it home safely somehow. And Scarlet Unicorn gave us a nice song to sing on the way. Once upon a time, I built a giant single block tower into the sky, surrounded by torches, so I could see the house from far away. It wasn't pretty, but efficient. That's a good idea. Just this massive spire, the Wendell Spire, looking ever upward. Just full of, full of torches and light and hope. Hope that you can find your way back to your loved ones, i.e. Pringles. We got the sand, got some more bones. The Eye of Sauron. The Windscraper. Oh, I like the I like that name. The Windscraper. The Windle Scraper. No, that doesn't sound good. That sounds like a scrape in me. That sounds unpleasant. The Windscraper. I like that. I stole a hay bale. Why? I don't know. And I got flour. There. The house has a flower. It's beautiful. Just floating there. Rotating. I'm such a good decorator. Ooh, now that we're here. Cute! Thank you, Nile. I thought so. Marco! Hey, it's good to see you. We're just having some fun here. Just storing our goods from the last trip. Apparently this pearl is like really important. That's what Mochi said. Mochi said this ender pearl is like super good. So it's a good thing I have one for later. Gotta go for now. Yes, thanks for stopping by, Niall. Really appreciate you. Really appreciate the sub. You have a good day, good afternoon, morning, night, whichever time. Just love seeing you here. Have a, have a good time. We'll see you next time. Oh, we'll definitely carry it and drop it. Yeah, I'll just put the, the pearl in my inventory so we can just drop that in the lava pit. No, we're not doing that. So I got some more iron ingot. And that means we can make another bucket. We're gonna make another bucket. Because we're gonna get that lava. Oh, what am I doing? I forgot the potatoes. There we go. Pringles! Come on down. There you go. 
Oh, he loves them. Whoa! I'm just coming back down here. Pringles, don't stick your head out that door. Look what could have happened. You could have been bacon. It's dangerous out there. Oh, look, there's a creeper. There's a few of them. This neighborhood. It's a bad neighborhood. Oh, man, there's a skeleton over here. It's a zombie with a shovel. Scarlet Unicorn. Scarlet Unicorn ordered food for the creepers. I mean, don't feed the creepers. It's just gonna make them wanna stick around. Can they get struck by lightning? It seems mean, but I kinda want them to. I wanna see what happens. What if lightning struck that lake that they're all swimming in? Yeah, Pringles. Just everyone would be in trouble then. You all shouldn't be swimming in the lightning storm. It's a bad idea. I kinda want that shovel. That looks nice. Give me that shovel. Let's go make our bucket. And then sleep in the rain, in the lightning storm. Don't recommend this. Forgot about the painting. Yeah. It took us a few tries to make this lovely painting. making a lot of noise. And you, spider. It's in our furnace. Still got some raw iron. I guess we need some new tools before we venture out. Oh, here's the old tools. Oh, that's right, I put the tools down because we were going to get the lava. And I thought, something bad may happen. And it did. So it's a good thing I put the tools down. So we're going to leave those there. Close our door. Because we weren't raised in a barn. I'll just leave that door open, though. Because I'm going to come back in that way. Make a quick little drop in. So the lava was somewhere over here. There it is. There's our gate. We set up our little safety gate that provided no safety as I fell in the lava. Okay. Attempt number two. I have a bucket of lava. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But we did it. 
Step two, unknown. Now the idea was to fill our little lake with lava so that we could have protection from the various monsters. I got all turned around. Here we go. Yeah, so I don't know how that works. Will the lava spread and like fill the area? Or is this literally one square of lava? Also, how does one drain the lake and replace the water with lava? These are questions I don't know the answer to. If I just throw the lava in the water, will it still be lava? Or will it turn into rocks? Nobody answer me! Just gonna have to find out for myself. Okay. We're gonna start small. Now I don't think I don't think I should throw the lava in the water. Let's dig a small hole here. That's good. And... Huh. I don't know how to get it out of the bucket. Well, I don't want to collect. That'll be more water. What about in here? Huh. So I emptied my lava into the cauldron and it vanished. Is there still water in the cauldron? It looks empty. I'm gonna make sure. Oh, that's going to take all day. We're learning. This is what lunch crafting is all about. Okay, it's definitely empty now. But I couldn't even dump the bucket. I couldn't get the lava out of the bucket. Okay, there was another suggestion I, I, I saw, which was we might have to guide the lava back to here, which sounds like a massive undertaking, like a huge construction project. Lava plus water equals evaporation. That seems to be the case. If there was still water in the cauldron, oh, I guess if, if they, nu they, they nuked each other, that's probably what happened. I think there was water in the cauldron, and I, th I threw it in there, and they both went away. We lost them both. That seems fine and dandy, not a way to murder yourself. Yeah, I'll just get myself a shovel and dig the lava back to my house. This is a perfect plan. The heck with it, we're doing it. Huh. 
Mochi's giving me the worried sign. Mochi thinks this is going to end badly. Mo Mochi's usually right about that. Okay, the sun is in the latter half of the day. So we'll, we'll do something around the house. Then sleep, and we'll do this fresh. <laughs> Playing with lava. What could go wrong? Nothing. Oh, here we go. I got the planks. We'll add some more, uh... Some more wall up here so Pringles can actually come upstairs without jumping over the side. Can't trust him out here. We'll do this until the sun goes down. Then we'll sleep. And then we'll play with lava. Block, block, block. Mom, Windows playing with lava again. I can do what I want. I'm a grown up. Kids, don't play with lava. I need like a ladder. Ladder. Being careful. All right, it looks like night has come. Just finish off this little corner. I didn't mean to do that. I guess I have a bedside table now. All right. I mean, it's probably, it's probably tall enough that Pringles won't just Yeet himself over the side now. But I think I'm going to wait till I have a roof. I don't trust him. Pringles is a crafty pig. I think that's good. Mm. 
You could put a torch there, yeah. I want to make more torches. I really do. But, we have not been very successful in finding more coal, which we desperately need for torches. Okay. Here's the lava. So instead of looking, we're going to splash around in lava. Well, why do we need a torch if we have lava glowing all night long? I think it's a great idea. So here's the lava, and I think home is this way. This shovel's great. Yeah, I think if we just dig straight through, that's going to get us there. Everyone looks very worried. I'm not worried. I mean, sure, now I've put myself in this creepy cave. There we go. Said the guy who swam in lava. Just once. Only swam in lava that one time. Just a small hole here. Yep, this is going going straight back to the lava. I wonder if there's lava below my feet right now. There could be tons of lava just waiting for me. I do get that nice little satisfying poppy sound when I pick up all the dirt. I think my shovel's about at it. There it goes. Switching to pickaxe. 
Do I know where this will land me once I get to the other side? No. I mean, it seemed like the right direction. Hey, look what we found. We got the mother load. Want some torches? I do. I want some torches. And then I can make more more glass. We're gonna have to excavate this whole area. Oh, look at it all. There's so much. Something's gurgling at me. I think I should get out of my hole. Kind of get my bearings. Under me. That means I'm going to dig. Dig for coal and find zombies. Here's my trench. I need another shovel. It digs the dirt so much better. But if we just keep going... Look, it leads, it leads right to the house. So this is good. The lava can come right out here. Let's drop our coal off. I always do that. I gotta move this thing. Wow. That took a lot of effort to break. Let's just do this first. Burn down the rest of our iron. Look at that, one piece of coal. One piece of coal is doing all that.
One piece of coal. We'll just let it make sand. Or make glass. Turn that sand into glass. Need some sticks. And cobblestone. Make two shovels. And torches. Yes. Four. Is four enough? Is four enough torches? That seems good. Four more, all the fire. Bring on the fire. Boom. Bedside table. Complete with torch. Now that's mighty nice. Sleep comfortably next to my torch. Pringles. So we'll put down the extra torches. Don't want to lose those. Put down the cobblestone. And a stick. And a coal. And a sand. How's this doing? 14. And still going. They say not to leave candles burning, but they don't say anything about torches. No, nobody says anything about torches. Unless you're Scarlet Unicorn, then it's all about torches. But it's so useful. It's good knowledge. I like learning about torches. Let's get one more... Boom. Too coal in the furnace. Keep making that glass. Back to the trenches. Here it is. Ow. I think I'm going to do this from outside the trench. Oh, hello, other pig. I wouldn't play in there. This is a major construction project. 
This is definitely the biggest construction project Wendell Island has ever seen. And it's going to be amazing when it's done. Look, I can see my house from here. Look at that. Just digging it straight through. And imagine when it's all filled with lava. And I don't want to see the worried faces. There's nothing to worry about. This is a good plan. When it's all filled with death. We'll see what we do. See what we do. Once the lava's flowing, we come back and we cover it with a layer of glass. So you can walk across it and look down and see the lava and you won't fall in. But you'll know it's there. It'll be like a lava tube. Pumping protective lava all around my house. Then... I just have to make sure I don't step in it myself. Which should be easy. Shovel gone. Shovel two. Wendell died here, 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 everywhere. No. No, that's not going to happen. We're going to do this by the book. We're going to follow proper procedures for transporting lava. I've never read that book. Oh, it's a page turner. I have to say. I keep hurting myself falling in this in this crevice. Which has nothing to do with lava. The fact that I hurt my leg jumping in the hole. Hear him again. I have to say, this is the most mining I think I've done since starting Minecraft. Most of my time is spent running, petting Pringles, 
drowning. But this, this is pure Minecraft right here. It's just you and a pickaxe and the dirt. It's less Minecraft, more mine. Yeah. We're not crafting much. What we're crafting is a better tomorrow. A tomorrow with a lava lake. So that these creepers can't get near my house. Is a lava lake too much? Could I probably do with Less intense security measures? Yes. But a lava lake is pretty cool. And that's why we're doing it. There goes the pickaxe. And there goes the shovel. If I could just get this one out of the way, we can check on our work. Not bad. Very close. Look at that. Now that's a trench. I'm pleased. Productive day, I would say. Now let's get inside before something eats me. And we're home. Pringles, we're back. We didn't die. Not today. Not today. Deep in the trenches. I, yes, I was quite deep in the trenches today. And I can hear the monsters, but we're safe. Safe inside the house. As we stare out and imagine how you won't be able to swim like that when this lake is full of lava. Gonna stay away from my house, zombie kid. Anyway, that brings us to the end of the hour. So everyone, thank you for joining me for another productive day of Minecrafting. We made it back home with all our stuff from the town, and we and we got our trench dug. Found a found a coal, found a vein of coal, and made torches. So I would say very productive day. Next week, we will continue the trench, and hopefully we will see the results of the lava filling the lake so that I don't have to worry about creepers around my house anymore because I will be protected by lava. Anyway, that's gonna do it, and uh, do watch. You know, I will, uh, I, I might go streaming and do a little wassling, little caroling, uh, in, like I said, next week, I think, might be a good time for that. Hey, just Sandy now? Yes! Hooray for trenches and torches! It was a good day for that. But watch out for the caroling. That's going to be coming up. As, uh, as well as, you know, maybe some other Christmas surprises. As we get closer to the holidays. But until then, this is your buddy Wendell signing off. Hope you have a great day out there, everybody. Enjoy your holiday time. If you're on vacation, really enjoy that vacation. And if you're working, sorry you got to be working. But hopefully, 
you can find some good holiday time for yourself soon. So long, everybody, and I'll see you next time.